uh, my trip to Papua New Guinea for my mom's anniversary. I came back when I do all the illegal documents. <laughs> Carrying back to Brisbane, there was this big wall in between. Because I carried the Maroon suitcase. The Maroons, they won the game. And after I went to, some things direct me. And I went to the Richmond guy. And then I had only $20, which I was going to buy the uh, Richmond, the mini, before the game start. And I went there, and I, my money was torn, the half was torn. I still got a bit of the $20 left with me. They couldn't sell me the hat, the, the rich man, um, the tiger's hat. And they bring in a manager and they say, okay, I can have the hat, the beanie. So they sold me the hat. With, I lost my bit of $20, which was ripped up somehow. Someone was challenging me. Anyway, I went down to buy some snack before the game start. I was on, it was Richmond game, 22 game, 22 seat I was sitting on. And I went down to get a drink and some snack as I was coming back up the concrete steps. I saw you know, your wife and your other, your brother's wife and uh, other people were up there, like five people were there. And then all of a sudden I looked down, I saw this bit of my $20 was on the floor on my steps as I was walking up the steps. And I picked it up and I looked up, they all looked at me and I called them bitch, you bitch. And that was the heat was on, they bad on me. I took the $20 broken note, it's still with me in my pass. And I went back to my seat on the twenty number on the seat number twenty two where I took twenty uh, round twenty two game. And the game was on. I won the game that night, and they lost. And I still got a bit of twenty dollars with me in my pocket. I was going to go in and see the Richmond boys, but the boys at the gate said, no, you get the train. So I called the train back to Southern Cross. There I was at the cafe trying to get a coffee, and then I saw you guys were escaped into Army Jack and went. You and your brother's wife and your wife, you guys went. And I was on the train coming back to Geelong, and I saw your brother was sitting on the other side with a package for some smith. I woke up in the middle of the night as I was sleeping on the train and I thought I was really surprised. Anyway, I came down, I opened to my car and I came back to my house where I stay. So, you see, some things didn't went out for you. I won the game, Richmond game, and you guys lost because your wife won Bulldogs. Bulldogs lost. I won the Richmond game. The tiger. And I still got a bit of twenty dollars that was ripping off was the uh, was the heat on that night. So some things they don't meant and set up for you. You are intruded trying to impose yourself into people's life that was not meant and set up for you. You get into my Papa Rod, his middle name is Charles, and you're trying to get into my mom. My mom's name is Gianna, and me, he copycat me and my mom. And my son Sam, he's trying to produce another Sam Smith guy, and he eats Sam Smith music everywhere and pull that money off me because I used common with blank that I was traveling with, dragging all that. 